Mosquito Murmur, whatever it's called. We don't have any more time to waste, don't you agree, Ryan? All right, let's go. Well, everyone, our situation isn't exactly favorable. Indeed not. Each nation's food and medicine supplies are running low. Our soldiers are exhausted. They won't last forever. We have to do something. Indeed. We have little time left. Our apologies for keeping you waiting. Preparations are complete. All nations are ready. Then we prepared in time. Well done. We appreciate your assistance. You have a plan for attacking Core Hydra Castle? You told us Melodia used the power of the Five Islands to release the End Magnus. I suggest we use that same power to counteract the power of the Evil God, and to pierce the shield surrounding Korhydra Castle. You're suggesting that we gather the power of the End Magnus, remaining in each island, and throw it at the shield? Exactly. That would be folly. Now that the Ant Magnus have been released, each island is barely kept afloat by its remaining power. If that power was to be depleted, the islands could fall. That would be too dangerous. We are all well aware of the dangers involved. Unless we do something soon, though, we'll all be doomed. We have to take our chances. Then you will definitely need my help. Lord Rodolfo. That uh, fat ass from earlier. You came. Of course I did. How could I hide myself when there's a battle to be won? Wow. Listen to him. He only agreed to help after some serious threatening on our part. <laughs> The reason is unimportant. It is your presence here that counts. By the way, what has become of the Empire? Who will take charge? We can't expect too much from them. We'll have them assume their positions, just in case. Now that Gelderborn is gone, there is no one to lead the people and bring out the full potential of that island. I'm not sure how much we can accomplish with the power of four islands. But we must do what we can. There's no turning back. Here, here. This will probably be the first and the last time anyone attempts such a feat. Let us join together and give them something to remember. As mentioned earlier, we will take care of the shield. 
wait for an opening and stand yeah, so directly he into the this swamp one hydra. And they say no, you did it. I beg of you. Please save my Melodia. Please save her soul. We will. We will do our utmost. Hey! The final battle will take place tomorrow. The fate of the world is in our hands. Man, that fat girl is so, um, so brute. There's one thing I don't understand. Melodia and Mal Percio seem to have somehow linked their minds together. Any ideas why or how? Yeah. She used Geldablame to unseal the Five End Magnus and resurrect Mal Percio. No doubt about that. Maybe she was first linked with the End Magnus and Mira. That's a possibility. According to Giacomo, Dr. Georg had a special power, probably induced by the N. Magnus in the lava caves. He devoted himself to his experiments as if a man possessed, until he created Kallus and V. Hmm? What's your point? My point is that something tells me both Melodia and Dr. Georg were controlled by the will of Malpercio. Whether they were aware of it or not. Yeah, maybe. Yet, if that were indeed the case, it would be quite puzzling. On one side, we have Melodia and her cohorts attempting to unleash the End Magnus and take over the world. On the other, we have Dr. Georg, striving to create a being who could bring about Malpercio's destruction. If both are controlled by Malpercio, why would they be in contradiction? That is weird, now that you mention it. Dr. Georg's experiments were aimed at creating a Magnus of life. This would be the exact opposite of the end Magnus, which are symbols of death and destruction. My point is that Callus and Malpercio may have been destined to fight one another. In that sense, Callus could be said to be a bad omen for Malpercio, a harbinger of the gods' demise. That's the way of the world. Come again? Everyone lives with contradictions of some sort or another. The desire to be sincere and loyal to others, and the urge to drop everything, lie back, and care about nothing. But also want to feel secure. We want to protect someone dear to us, but at the same time, we simply want to abandon them. We want to live on, but also want to give up and die. Love and hatred. Melodia and Callus. She is Melpercio's curse to the world. Callus must be his prayer. She's his curse? I'm his prayer. Yes. I won't claim to know for sure what Malpercio thinks and desires, but something tells me that's how it is. Callus and Melodia. Us and them. There's no telling who will win. Hell, it may not even matter who wins. Is everything just a game, determined at the whim of some god, enjoying himself at our expense? Are we just pawns caught up in the mess, whether we like it or not? No, this is no game. This is Mount Percio's will. It's his first and final decision, putting himself at stake. It's the final fight by gods who were destroyed a thousand years ago. He's dead serious. Believe me. Yeah, that 
That one's weird. Is she listening in to what we're saying? Well, this is the big day. The end of the line. Hey, listen. This may be it for us. We've been through a lot together. And it was a hell of a ride. Thanks to you. I owe you one. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. We'd never have made it without you. That night, way back, in the Forest of Spirits. I'm glad it was you who came to me. Really glad. Anyway, it'll all be over by this time tomorrow. Whether we manage to stop them or whether they end up killing us, everyone needs to say goodbye someday. So, before that time comes, let's go out with a bang. We can do this, together. Okay? Yep. Let's get going. Dragon's gonna fight. This is it. to each other. Oh, 
He's like, you're gonna put my hand up high! weren't enough, it seems. Oh no! Why now? <sighs> Prepare yourselves. Not so fast, people. Oh, who's this? What is that? It is coming from Alphard, the power of its end, Magnus. But who is it? With Gelderblade dead, who would be able to invoke Alphard's power? Control down here. Amy! This island is in good hands. No need for worry. Like Mana Carta 2 when you do his powerful attack. Piece of cake. Yeah, like I always laugh at that. Rally part. yourselves. All of you. Charge! Why? Yes. I'd be surprised if they took over. That'd be awesome. We did it! We're counting on you, Pallas. All of us. We'll join you shortly. Please be careful.
to me a big old castle, that's all I can say. What the? What are they? Oh no! The gods! The ones they crafted the end Magnus with! What? Ghost of the gods? This just gets better and better! It seems we may have more trouble than we bargained for. The great result to be invincible. Utterly. Mortal. But not against ghosts. Not quite. Exception. <laughs> Don't worry. If we can hit them, we can defeat them. You be sure? Positive. I hate ghosts too. They all suck a she. <laughs> What? what is it? <laughs> um, nothing. Huh. <laughs> smirking. Let's get a move on. We don't have time for ghost stories. This song, no way. Really drop some good stuff. I might find a blue flower and save and just start. Whoa, look at all those monsters. Blue flower. Okay, guys, I'll be back out there training them a bit. So I'm gonna be back and forth in these, between these two rooms. And that'll be it.